You are probably already dressed and beautified and on your way to work or already at work this morning. Um, but I wanted to do a quick video um, before I left the house of me applying my new Savvy Minerals. So I'm going to go through this. Hi Tammy. Um, just a few little steps to give you a quick application how to use these products. Um, I know some of you may already be, thanks, uh, Tammy, good morning, uh, maybe used to using uh, mineral makeup already, like you might have used bare minerals or something similar in the past, um, but if you're not, then you might be a little bit nervous to try it to see if maybe it has the right kind of coverage or is easy to apply like the other makeup you might already be using. So, I don't have every single savvy product that they make, um, but I'm going to be building my collection, but I do have the basics. I'm going to show you those, and I do have some of the Sweet Savvy Minerals, which was Melissa Pepping's company before she, uh, before Young Living acquired it, so I have a couple of those. The names are the same. Um, for example, the Residual Eyeshadow um, that I have and the Jet Setter Eyeliner um, are both the same from the previous name or when it was still Melissa Pepping, so um, I'll be showing you how to use those. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to apply, um, I've already I've showered, I've cleansed my face, I have um, exfoliated and I have toned it. Um, so then my next step is to put on my moisturizer. And usually in the morning I like to put on a moisturizer that can also be used as my primer. So I'm going to use, I'm gonna switch my camera around here so that it looks right to you. Um, the Art Renewal, oh, there we go, Art Renewal Serum and the Art Light Moisturizer. So I'm going to put, um, just on my fingertips, one pump of each. And this makes the perfect makeup primer. So there is one pump of each. I'm going to mix those around and then I'm just going to very lightly apply those to my face. I don't put them on my eyelids. Because I don't want my makeup, I want it to stick, but I don't want it to melt down um, and cause any raining to happen in my eye, uh, on my eye makeup. So underneath the eye, nose, pretty much everywhere you're going to put your foundation. And then bring any extra down onto the chin. Hi Courtney! Hi Casey! Hi Angela! Okay. I am not one of those YouTube makeup tutorial uh, experts so this is just me doing this is literally what I would do if I were standing in front of my mirror except you get to watch me do it it's kind of creepy but kind of cool at the same time so okay so I learned um, at convention that you should do your eye makeup when you're using mineral makeup you should do your eye makeup first because um, if you do get any fallout which is the little stuff that might come from not sticking uh, when you're putting it on um, you can brush that away before you put on your foundation but you can do it either way I've always been a foundation first, build everything else on top of it. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and try it this way and see what I think. So, um, I don't uh, have the brush set yet, but it will be back the first week of July. Ooh, maybe sooner, I'm throwing my brushes around. Um, so I'm going to use a brush like this. Just kind of a fluffy. Um, I think this is the Eco Tools one, and I think the Eco Tools even says eyeshadow on it. Um, but mine's worn off so I'm going to use my new color that I got which is called uh, Wanderlust because yeah I like that name it's pretty it's kind of a cream colored and it's got just the tiniest bit of shimmer in it but not a lot I'm not a big glitter makeup gal I kind of like it to be I don't know natural like I woke up this way I'm gonna put that on my whole lid. This is really weird doing my makeup backwards because I'm looking at myself backwards on the screen. So you're not using very much. And when I'm when I'm put it, um, picking some up, I'm tapping the excess off so I'm not carrying a whole bunch of it onto my eyelid. You can even come into the creases. Okay. I almost feel like I'm having to put my makeup on with the other hand, which is so odd. Okay, so now I've got that on. And then I like a little bit darker crease. Um, I don't want to put anything real heavy on my eyelid, but I just like a little bit for definition so that my eyes look open and awake. Hi, Amy. Thank you, dear. 
Um, I have this cool little creaser brush, but you can use the same one as you were using for your eyeshadow. This one just has a slight angle on it. Um, and I'm going to take just a dab of the, um, this is called the Multitasker, which is the eye, eyeliner and eyebrow pencil. I'm going to take, I'm going to pick up the tiniest bit of that and put it in my lid. And then I'm going to pick up um, some of the residual, which is kind of this really pretty like champagne. I'm going to pick up a little bit of that and put it in the lid. And I'm going to make my own kind of crease shadow because I don't have all the eyeshadows yet. So every month I'm just going to add one to my Essential Rewards order so that I can build up my collection. Because um, I don't know about you, but getting a bundle is, is definitely was not in my budget after just going and buying all the other products from conventions. So um, I'm just going to work on it. So I'm going to put this in my crease. like so you want to just be gentle on your face like you're putting your um, skincare on you don't need to you know scrub eyelids have certain kind of muscles that only run one way and once they're pulled they don't go back very easily hi Cassandra okay and then um, if I feel like I might be too heavy on one side or the other um, I will take the the big the young living brushes are Phenomenal. I got to try them and test them at convention. Um, really soft, big, fluffy brush, and I will just dust off any extra. Easy. Not too much makeup, just a little. Let's see. Let's other people know I tried this morning. <laughs> um, so, next I'm going to do my brows. So, I use a very skinny angle brush. This one, or sometimes. I use this one, I whatever one I can find in my makeup bag first. Um, this one has like a little spoolie brush. I like. Um, hi Shannon. Uh, so, the I always like to comb mine out with a spoolie brush first, um, and then I use a wet angle brush to put my, and if you want to uh, have someone show you how to put like the perfect brows on, uh, talk to Jessica Johns because she is like, she's pro. She's got the brows to die for. She knows how to apply it all. So I'm just gonna give you a quick little tip. Um, okay, so I'm gonna take my multitasker lid and my misting spray, this stuff smells amazing. I'm gonna spray some into my lid and then I'm gonna pick up some of my multitasker and I wanna, I wanna get it wet. This is the same process for using it as an eyeliner too. Get it wet and then, oh, Gosh, it's gonna be a little bit of a challenge to try to get these on straight with looking in the thing. And then I'm just gonna shape my brows. Um, the trick to brows is um, straight up from the center, uh, from the inside of the eye, and then you do an angle from the nose to um, the outside of the eye, which is where the high point of your brow should be, and then from your nose all the way out, and it should end past your eye. You shouldn't be having brows ending here, <laughs> so. And I apologize, this video is kind of like scooch over to the middle here. Okay. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have to flip this around <laughs> so I can see what I'm doing here. Okay. And you don't want, I try to avoid what I call comma brow. It looks like, you know, it's like a, a big lump here and then it goes too skinny out here. So when I'm focusing on it, if your stuff dries out, which it should, because you don't want to be putting it back away wet, um, just pick up some more multitasker. You can even shake it into the lid. And I can use the remainder of this for my eyeliner. Thank you, Cassandra. I like that residual. I think a bunch of stuff just came back in stock. I saw all the oily tool notifications. So if you're waiting on something, go check it out now. Um, so what I focus on is coming straight out from the brow. I don't try to go up and then down. I try to create this like one fluid motion. Does that make sense? I don't know the technical terms, you guys. You're just gonna have to bear with me here. Okay, there's one done. The thicker your brows, the younger you look. And I try to make my brows even. So this one always likes to grow just slightly lower than this one. So I'll build up the top a little bit more so that they look more symmetrical. 
P.S. I have a whole brand new like respect for the girls that do these makeup tutorials. If you get a little bit too much going on like I just did, swipe it off. Hi, Wendy. If I can do this tutorial, girls, you can. <laughs> okay, so then I usually comb out the rest of my brow, make sure everything's all smooth, and sometimes I'll use like a um, clear mascara to set them. If you can find a good chemical-free one, go for it. And then if I get a little extra up on top that I don't want, I can always come back through um, with my eye, with my eyeshadow brush and then add in a little bit of foundation to get closer to these areas too. Okay. And then for my eyeliner, um, I actually, I don't like to, personally like to use the angle brush. I don't find that I can get as good of a smooth line with it, but if you're good with these, go for it. I like to use this, oh, there's the, this like little itty bitty tiny round one. I'm not sure, I, this is a eyeliner brush too. So I've still got some remainder of my uh, eyebrow. I'm gonna put a little bit more multitasking in there. And I like it because it's nice and wet and easy to apply. And then I just kind of scrub it kind of close down to my eyelash line. goes on like a wet but it dries like a powder so it's very natural looking I like it and then if I want I can come back in with a little bit of my regular eyeshadow and blend it even more or sometimes I do want more of a more defined uh, eyeliner so and then you can also come in and just very gently pull on your eye you can put some underneath depending on what eye shape you have and if you want your eyes more open or you want them more closed Okay, so then I'm going to finish up with, hi Megan, <laughs> you're supposed to be working, but I guess you're not, huh? Um, uh, the trick to good uh, mineral makeup application is very thick brushes. So um, I have this one here. You want to look at the density of the bristles and they should be natural. I am super excited to get the Young Living ones because of the nicest brushes for the price I've ever seen. But until I get those, I'm going to just use the ones I have already. So I bought cool number three. I'm a cool color. So when you look at the veins on my wrist, you can see they are blue. They are not greenish. I do not have any olive tone skin. Mine is like peach. And my mom used to always call me peaches and cream because I just have this um, underlying little pink cheek thing going on. So I always stick to cool colors. So I got cool number three because I'm a little tanner now than I normally am in the winter time. Um, but um, you can also blend these. I think Amanda Wilson uses all three and she uses them to contour and highlight with all three of the of the warms. So I can do the same thing with the cool. So I just got the cool number three, so I'm gonna work with that today. So the trick is spray your breasts with, with your um, misting spray, wet it. And then you're going to put some of your uh, foundation powder into your lid. And then you're going to pick up your uh, foundation with your brush. You might have some highs and lows on how it picked up, so you can always tap off the excess. And then you're going to do circle motions very lightly. And you can always add more misting spray if you want it to be a wetter application, easier to apply, maybe a little bit more familiar uh, with what you're using now with a wet foundation or you can apply it without any misting spray. Totally up to you. Never thought people would actually see me apply makeup. This is kind of cool. <laughs> now, see, I've been eating very poorly right here. <laughs> you can tell this is your lower intestines. Uh, so if I have areas like that, like from convention, from all the lack of sleep and poor eating, then um, I will want to conceal that area just a little bit more. Um, so you can pick up um, with a brush. I'll just use my little angle one here because it's clean. 
and it almost there's like a paste left behind and you can come in and fill up these areas going in with a lighter uh, foundation wet like this makes the perfect concealer I'm using the same color as what I'm using now but it's still it's still blending you don't want to leave things looking caked on either. Sometimes you just have to roll with it. I put on my Progestins Plus this morning and a little bit of purification for that breakout. So, Okay, so once I've got my foundation on, it's light. The, the more water you use, the more product you use, the more uh, coverage you can get. Um, but I, I don't like my face to look like I have a ton of makeup on. I want it to look done but not overdone. So then I'm gonna use my blush. I have, I do believe you're blushing as my color. It's the it's kind of a pale pink, um, peachy color. So that'll work good with my skin tone. It's on the cool side. They have a couple blush options, but I think this one would probably work well for almost everybody. So I'm gonna tap just a little into my lid. And these, they don't seem like much, but man, these things go a, a long, long way. So I'm gonna pick up some of that on my brush. You can use the same brush you were using before or you could use another blush brush. I like this one because it's super soft. And I'm just gonna do the apples on my cheeks. So and you wanna bring your cheek all the way back here. <laughs> that is your full cheek. The far back, you don't wanna just go right in the middle then you'll look like a clown. So you wanna bring everything back. Just thinking about everything back to your hairline, blending it. Nice peak cheekbones, high, um, full eyebrows. These are gonna things that are gonna make you look young. Um, you can bring some on the bridge of your nose if you'd like for a little extra sparkle on your chin. You don't really wanna do a whole bunch on your forehead. I think it makes it look like you're perspiring. Um, so I just do cheeks. Now, if you wanna come in with a darker, um, I apologize because I'm looking at myself applying it, but I'm not looking at the camera, so I apo uh, apologize. Um, but you can come in with a darker, um, Foundation and contour right here. Not so much right here, but right here, but right here. It's my Tommy Boy moment. And then a lighter color along your um, chin and um, around your eyes, forehead, so those areas pop out. Um, one of the things I love about this makeup, no talc, no bismuth. Talc is one of those, have you ever seen like somebody on the red carpet at an award show and her makeup's perfect and then they take a photo with the flash and then all of a sudden you can see all the white parts of her face that's the talc coming through the flash picks up that white um, this stuff will look flawless on camera it's not gonna create some weird thing going on when you're taking photos with a flash so plus talc is known to cause cancer and not good so this is all arrowroot powder and um, just a little bit of mica pigment um, which is all natural and it is phenomenal I love it and it feels really good on your skin. You don't feel like you're putting on mineral makeup and it's like <laughs> drying up all your skin. So it's really nice. So when you're done with that, um, you can, I, this is a brand new product for me. I haven't tried this one yet. It's called Diamond Dust and it's just kind of an overall setter. And it gives you a little bit of a highlight um, on your skin and just makes you look like you have that dewy JLo glow, which we all want. So I put a little bit of that in my lid I don't use the misting spray for this, so I want to keep it light. Tap off my extra. You can even blow it if you need to. I'm going to highlight above my cheekbone. You can see that. I am. There. A little bit on the bridge of the nose. You can even come and do a little bit on your um, top of your eyelids. Be a little bit angel's bow area highlight the upper lip a little bit on your chin easy good good jello go oh uh, yeah i like my jello glow okay so there you have it for the base of basics of the makeup eyebrows uh eyeliner a little bit of eyeshadow some foundation some blush some diamond dust dang i like that diamond dust that stuff's sweet uh, and that isn't even all of the products. That's just a few. And I used um, 
the trendsetter for my eyebrows, for my eyeliner, and for my eyeshadow. So that's a three-in-one product. I love it. Now I'm going to use my absolute favorite. Thanks, Casey. You're pretty, too. Um, my Abundant Lip Gloss. And I had to have it because it's called Abundant, but it actually is super pretty. It's a very kind of pale pink with a, just a very light shimmer to it. Uh, and you can do... Uh, I've seen some gals doing um, the lipsticks and then using this as like the highlighter. I usually don't get that complicated with my lipstick. I like a one application and done. And this stuff actually, if you've used the other, the La Briant, I think is how you say it, um, that stuff comes off super easy, I think. Um, so you have to apply it a lot. This stuff actually stays on. If, I put it on the other day and I still had it like four or five hours later. So this boop, boop, Savvy Minerals in Abundant. Isn't it pretty? Okay. Uh, mwah. So there you go. There is my makeup application for today. I might have to fix this eyebrow just a tad. It's a little lower than that one. But anyway, good enough. Okay. So I'll be back um, as I get new products in. I'll be trying out new colors and things. Thanks for hanging with me and my very first ever makeup tutorial. <laughs> so um, basics that you're going to need. A foundation. Go with um, your skin tone. If you, like right now, I'm pretty pale. I mean, I've got a little bit of a tan, but the inside of your arm matched to this color because your face is always lighter than, your, than the rest of your body. Um, if you have blue veins, go with a cool color. If you have slightly greenish veins, um, do a warm. Um, always, I would say, choose one lighter than what you think you're going to need um, because you can always build up to it. You never want to have your face darker than the rest of your body because then you're going to look unnatural, and that's not the goal of applying makeup. Uh, get a fun blush. The um, one that I have is I Do Believe You're Blushing, and I think it'll work for almost everybody, even with warm or cool skin tone. The Diamond Veil, that stuff's, I'm loving that. Um, the Misting Spray, it smells like bergamot and geranium and what all is in here? Geranium, bergamot, copaiba, cedarwood, black spruce, orange peel, lavender, lime, vanilla, sage, okatia, and rose. So, that is a sweet deal, 15 bucks for this, and that'll last you forever. And then um, pick an eyeshadow, and get the, tr and then get the, um, the three-in-one product, which is the uh, multitasker. And then you're gonna have options for um, eyeshadows. You're gonna have your eyeliner. You're gonna have your eyebrow pencil, um, and your, I mean, your eyebrow, yeah, pencil. I guess it is what it'd be. And then um, if you don't already have them, the Art Renewal Sear and the Art Light Toner as your primer. Um, you could also use Cher Lume in place of this with this, um, which I do a lot. So I hope that helps you. And thanks so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day, ladies. Bye.